In this video, I'll give you an overview of the tool, online resource tool, Padlet, and how to create uh, boards within Padlet um, to be ready to use in your online classes. So to get started, you'll need to sign up. It's free. Um, I'll go ahead and log in. So in Padlet, you ha um, with the free account, you can create up to four boards, but you want to make sure um, that you're mindful of how much space each board will be taking up. So as you add information to your board, your space is being taken up. So when I use this, um, I may use a, well, I may have one board um, in each of my classes, but then the next semester I would wipe these boards clean and then use it again. Um, it just depends on how much space you want to use and then um, you know how much your students are interacting with it and using it. You do get a message saying like okay you've run out of space um, and that gives you a heads up to either go clear something or um, whatever. So to make a Padlet you're going to click make a Padlet. Here are different ways you can um, present your material. I typically just do the wall, so I'm going to go with that. And keep in mind, so this is like a virtual bulletin board um, or information board. So you know, um, information board, you have resources and information thumbtack to the, to the board. It's the same thing, it's just virtual. So whenever I use this as an assignment, um, I have my students go out into the internet, find a particular resource related to what we're talking about, and then they pin it to the wall and they can share it with others. And then I typically have them look at resources other people posted and then um, write some kind of reflection or respond to discussion board prompts, you know, whatever. Um, I like to do mine when I first do this and I use um, the the example of it's like a bulletin board. I like to select the background to look like a bulletin board. So you'll see it's giving me a modify menu. I can um, change my title. I can change the description. I can add an icon. I can change the wallpaper. So I'm going to do that first. I like the corkboard pattern um, just to get started. Now it looks like a real corkboard. Move the back. So for my title, this is just going to be an example to show you um, how you can use it or create one. Something that's very important, and I had to learn the hard way, I forgot to select um, where it says display author name above each post. Yes, you want to do that. So in my example, I had students, the very first time I used this, students um, were to go find, they had to find a resource, bring it back, post it, but I did not have that selected, so everything posted as anonymous, so then I had to have students email me and let me know which one they did. It was a headache, um, so just make sure that's selected. You can also have a comments bar if you want students to post comments on what their peers have posted. Um, okay, so I'm going to hit next. Now it's telling me I'm all done. I can start posting. Excellent. So to get started, you click on the pink circle and it automatically will bring up a post. So this would be like if you tacked up a piece of paper, what would you want to add to that? So you see it's got my name. It's letting me know who's doing it. Um, let's just for the sake of this example, pretend we're looking for resources for online teaching. Um, so I would tell my students to go out, find a resource um, for online teaching. Teaching online, let's just do um, practical advice for instructors. Okay, so in your example, there are different ways you can upload your resource. You could save something to your computer and then upload it. Um, like, let's say you found a PDF. You could upload a PDF. 
Um, if I wanted to share the website I just found, I can click on the link option and just provide the link and it would share. Um, you can look for Google, I believe that's Google Pictures. You could take a picture. If you click on more, there are other ways. You could do a voice, you could share your screen, you could draw. Um, typically when I have students do this, the two main ones they use are the links or the PDF, the upload, and typically they would upload a PDF. Um, so I'm going to pretend I want to share this practical advice for instructors. So I'm going to copy the address, I'm going to link it, paste, save, and then my title, um, Now, whenever I have my students do this as an assignment, um, they, they provide the title and then I have them write something. Um, so I may have, you know, go find a resource, provide a brief summary of what this resource is, and I would have them just type it here. Um, when I think I'm done, I can just click outside. You see the yellow um, box? I can just click outside and it's posted. Now, when your students start coming in, so typically whenever I'm doing this, I'll record a video and I walk students through how to use this tool. Um, I leave my example up there. So now let's say students are ready to come in. They again would click on the add and it just starts adding the tiles um, to your board. There's no limit to how many um, uh, posts are made so that's nice and I'll show you an example in just a second of what a full one looks like um, if I didn't want this one I could hit delete but that is how you make a Padlet um, like I said it's interactive I've gotten positive feedback from my students um, and it's just another way of okay go out find a resource bring it back and present to the class